today hasn't been my day, but that's okay. We're rolling with the flow, rolling with the punches. And um, I was going to film a completely different video today for you guys. And then my ring light went out. We have no ring light, so I'm in front of a window. The sun is about to go down. We're about to have no light, which is great. I tried about five new hairlines this week. Literally, I washed my hair every single day. And not only did it dry my hair out, but I have a little dandruff situation going on now. We don't know what product it's from because I tried 800 products. So it's a really great time to be alive. I was not pleased with how my hair turned out today because it's very um, soft, which you might think is good. Uh, but it's like so soft and fluffy that there's like no definition and I just hate it. Um, I went to try on my wedding dress today and it was too big because apparently I've lost weight. I need my dress to stay on and not fall off. We don't need a free show. But in all seriousness, I am happy and healthy and blessed and these are really all first world issues. I just realized that the microphone was creating a shadow on my face. It's fine, we're fine, we're not starting over. We're not, we're really just not. Please just ignore the odd shadows on my face. So for today's video, we're gonna be bringing back an old video I used to have on my channel called Hits and Misses. This is where I go over brand new hair products that I've been testing, uh, new launches, maybe they're older products, but I will break down which hair products work for me and did not work for me and why. If you enjoy videos like this, please give it a thumbs up so that I know if you want more videos like this and it really helps me out so very much. And be sure to subscribe even though we have tragic lighting here on my channel, just for today. It's usually great, right? This is future India after she has filmed this entire video and I'm cutting in because I feel like I need to preface this video by saying there are a lot of products in this video that I do not like. And I want to simply preface this video by saying that when I get products sent to me, I am, almost all the products that I speak about in this video have been sent to me. That doesn't change if I like it or don't like it whatsoever as you're about to see, um, but I am just so, so grateful when a brand thinks of me, reaches out to me to get my address and sends something to me in hopes that I will love it. And I then have a very hard time turning around and speaking negatively about a product that was so kindly sent to me, if that makes sense. It's just something I struggle with and I feel like I've been getting a lot of messages lately like, oh, India, you just seem to love every product. And it's like, no, that's actually not the case. I simply, in the past, have just not spoken about a product when I didn't like it. I only spoke about the products I did like, but I, I have come to understand and see that it is my job and my responsibility in a kind and loving way to also share when a product doesn't work for me. Do it in a totally graceful, kind way and say why it didn't work for me and why it might work for you. So please just note that while I am saying some of these products, I'm not a fan of, it does not mean that I hate the entire brand. It simply means that this product, for whatever reason I specify, did not work for me and here's why it might work for you. If you like videos like this, let me know. Um, but just know that it's like it's hard for me and I struggle with it because I just try to be positive online. I don't want to add or bring more negativity into YouTube when there is clearly already enough. But I'm hoping that if I do this in a respectful and kind way, it will be helpful to you. So yeah, okay, roll it. First up, we have a miss. This is from Briogeo. This is the Be Gentle, Be Kind shampoo, and I finished the conditioner. So this is a matcha and apple replenishing superfood shampoo and conditioner. Briogeo's products are sulfate, silicone, and paraben-free. They can be found at Sephora. They are on the more expensive end. And in my opinion, like, I'm not even gonna finish this shampoo, y'all, and I never don't finish a product. Like, I just can't. It just, it ain't it. It smells very fresh. It definitely smells like apples. It smells like a green juice that you would get at Arden's Garden and I really do enjoy the scent. It's a very tricky product to articulate why I don't enjoy it because it's not leaving my hair feeling like it's chocked full of residue. It's not drying out my hair. It's not over moisturizing my hair. It's just doing nothing. Does that make sense? And with the conditioner that goes with this, I did finish it. However, it took me maybe five conditioners, five washes, 
to get rid of this entire bottle because it just had no slip to it. I couldn't detangle my hair effectively. I feel like it wasn't hydrating at all. Once again, it was just a very middle of the road conditioner and really wasn't doing much for me. What I would actually recommend from Briogeo, if you really like their brand, uh, is from the Be Gentle, Be Kind line as well. However, it is the Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Conditioner. This is also sulfate, silicone, and paraben free and phenomenal. It really is so great if you're looking for a shampoo and conditioner set that is very, very hydrating. I don't personally find the shampoo to give me an overwhelming amount of volume in my hair, but it certainly isn't like weighing my hair down by any means. It's just a very nourishing and really nice shampoo. Um, it does suds up nicely for being sulfate free. And as far as the conditioner is concerned, I feel like it's very, very similar. It's also extremely nourishing. It creates a great amount of slip in your hair. It definitely softens the hair and just really is phenomenal. I would without a doubt skip the matcha and green, what is it, green apple? Green apple, mm -mm, it's a no for me. But the banana and coconut shampoo and conditioner is absolutely lovely and it smells, ugh, I always forget to mention what things smell like. Okay, I feel like the shampoo doesn't smell, hang on, please hold. Oh my gosh, it brings back all my childhood. Okay, yes, this smells like banana Laffy Taffy spot on. So if you hate that smell, this won't be for you folks. Next up we have a miss for me, but I feel like it could be a hit for many of you. So this is from the brand IGK. It's a brand new hair mask that just launched called Offline. And this is a three minute like miracle hair mask type situation. It is chock full of super rich and nourishing ingredients. This is cruelty free, vegan, sulfate, silicone free, excuse me, not silicone free, but sulfate and paraben free. And this product has a blend of turmeric butter, green tea oil, jojoba oil. It has so many rich and nourishing ingredients. For me, it was simply too heavy for what I look for in my hair because I like volume. And when I have a mask that is too hydrating and heavy, uh, while yes, it did its job, it definitely nourished, definitely softened, all of that, it did exactly what it said, but I then cannot get the volume I want, nor can I get the definition because y'all, let me tell you, my hair is maybe the softest it's ever been, although the Not Your Mother's new mask made my hair extremely soft as well, but the difference with this one is that it's almost too soft to where it can't hold definition and curl texture and it's also too heavy so then it weighs my hair. But let me tell you, this product is absolutely right. It is for dry and damaged hair and it will restore it. So maybe it would be great for you, but I will not be using it for me. Next up, this is a hit for me, you guys already know this, but a miss for my mom, which I just find very interesting. Uh, the Not Your Mother's Curl Sock line has been out for a while, and you guys know I love it, talk about it all the time, I work with them, this video isn't sponsored by them, but um, I swear by this, however, my mom's hair didn't love it. It left her hair feeling very dry, which is just so interesting, because it has the opposite effect on my hair, and my point is that my mom and I, <laughs> Our hair looks almost identical, but this product worked for me, but not her. So I wanna point that out just to say that, you know, just because a product works for me and you have similar hair to me doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for you and me and vice versa. If that makes sense, I just found that very interesting and wanted to point that out. My DMs have been chalked full of questions about these products. So first off, I wanna talk about the shampoo. This shampoo is not my favorite, but I'll tell you why, because it might work well for you. When I first received this Heritage Line PR package, I was very, very excited about it for a multitude of reasons. This shampoo is sulfate-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, mineral-free, cruelty-free, vegan. You get the drill. This retails for roughly $7 at your local Walmart. It smells truly lovely. It kind of has like a sweet vanilla scent almost, and it's, it's really beautiful. For me personally, this shampoo is just too hydrating for my hair. Once again, this seems to be a common thread uh, amongst products that just don't seem to work for me, and that's because I love so much volume in my hair. Um, this product is, when it says gentle, it means gentle, okay? So in my opinion, this would be better for curls and up, but I don't think that this is quite cleansing enough if you have wavy hair, and I think even if you were to be using this shampoo as a daily shampoo, 
I don't think it does enough deep cleaning for your scalp in my personal opinion. I, I think that you would still need to use some sort of build up removing product. This definitely left a residue feeling on my hair that I wasn't crazy about. It almost felt like I had rinsed out conditioner after using this shampoo. Believe it or not, this shampoo creates slip in your hair. I could detangle my hair using the shampoo, which sounds crazy, but it is truly that nourishing, which maybe you're looking for that. Maybe that's what you need. This is the product for you, baby girl. But for me, it's a no. Now the conditioner, however, I really like and enjoy and I will continue to use. I was trying to figure out what this product smells like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it smells like. It does smell nice. It's not overly strong. Um, there is perfume in this, so this definitely does have fragrance, but I really cannot put my finger on what this smells like. This conditioner is definitely a deep hydrating conditioner. I don't find it to be too deep to where it like weighs down my hair by any stretch, but I think, um, that it definitely does what it says it's going to do. This is the SOS Deep Moisture and Restore Conditioner. It is definitely hydrating and restoring and I really enjoy it and I think for the price point, you really can't beat it. One thing I'd like to briefly note, I don't wanna call it sneaky because it's literally written on the front of the bottle, but it kind of like mentally tricks your mind. While this brand does directly have an exact list of what these products are free from, the lists are different and I think because they have the same amount of ingredients on the list you think it's gonna be the same so if the shampoo is sulfate free you automatically think the conditioner is gonna be sulfate free but while this one says sulfate free this one says SLS free so there are different you gotta actually read what they're free from some of her products say silicone free some of them do not but I think mentally it kind of tricks your mind to think that they're all free of the same things but you really need to key in and look at exactly what they are free of so I mean I wanted to say at first I was like dang this is so sneaky and then I'm like India it's written literally directly on the front of the bottle like it's not sneaky at all but my mind played tricks on me Okay, we are officially losing our light, folks. We gotta go quick. This is from Giovanni. This is the Tea Tree Triple Treat Invigorating Shampoo. So clearly I've like hardly touched this. I can't seem to make the Giovanni hair products work for me. I don't know if I haven't found the right line or if their products just don't work for me. I can't figure it out, but they just seem to be far too stripping for my hair and just like drying. These products seem to have nothing bad in them. They're sulfate free, paraben free, mineral oil free, dye free, cruelty free, vegan, recycled packaging, all that jazz. But for some reason, I just can't seem to make these products work for me. I'm not sure why they are at your local Whole Foods. Um, and people love them. Like people swear by these, but not me. I am starting to sweat. Can you see that? Can you see the sweat stains? I'm literally sweating. Next up, we have a dry shampoo. This is from the brand Living Proof, and I swear by this dry shampoo. It is so, so, so lovely. It lasts absolutely forever. It is silicone free. However, a lot of dry shampoos on the market today do have silicones in them to leave the hair looking shiny and hydrated after cleansing but this product is silicone free. It is on the pricier end of dry shampoos. If you go to Sephora, you can find this for $25. It soaks up the excess oils on your scalp really beautifully and also removes like sweat and odor from your hair. I feel like this is the perfect, perfect dry shampoo for after working out. While I genuinely love this product, I do wanna point out that there are honestly just as good of dry shampoos in the drugstore market if you don't want to spend $25 on a dry shampoo you can absolutely find one that is at a cheaper price point that will do the same job but I do genuinely love this one and recommend it especially if you're a fan of the brand next let's talk about this brand new product concept from Batiste this is their waterless cleansing foam I didn't love this product this was 100% a miss for me uh, and it stinks because I was so excited because I love Batiste. I love their regular dry shampoos. That was all I used in high school and college. Literally the only dry shampoo I would use. I swear by it and I still do. I genuinely, genuinely love their regular dry shampoos. But in my opinion, this new formulation doesn't do the job. And I just find it to be more gimmicky than anything. Um, 
it just didn't work for me personally. And I feel like this is a very similar concept to the Briogeo shampoo where it's like, this didn't, you know, make my hair look greasy. This didn't um, just do anything. <laughs> that sounds horrible. It feels so bad. Um, didn't make my hair greasy. It didn't make my hair dry. It didn't make my hair just did. It just didn't do its job. You feel me? So this is supposed to be like a dry shampoo concept um, that isn't gonna dry your hair out. It's supposed to be hair refreshing and drying within 60 seconds, but it just left my hair feeling exactly like it did before. And um, you know, it's a cool concept, but it didn't work for me. Maybe it'll work for you. Not for me. Next, I want to briefly touch on this hair mask from Riojo. This is absolutely a hit and a miss for me. So this is their Don't Despair Repair hair mask, but simply in different packaging. I do believe that this packaging was limited edition. The product itself is so, so lovely, but this packaging is tragic, okay? Not because of the looks. I think it's adorable. It's a cute little bear because they, um, they're smart and they made their a uh, deep conditioning hair mask, a honey version. So they put it in a little bear, a little honey bear. So cute, love the concept. But this packaging is so hard. You literally, I was in the shower just like, like it sounded like I was giving birth in the shower trying to get conditioner out of this thing. It's just like, I don't even know if I can finish it. I think I might have to have Daniel squeeze this into like, an already existing conditioner of this, deep conditioner, because this, I literally can't get it out of here. Um, but it's a great product inside. Just can't get to it. Last but certainly not least, this is a hit and a miss for me. <laughs> I feel like all of these are both. So this is from the brand Design Essentials Natural Hair, and this is their almonds and avocado uh, line. This is the sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. So, love these products. They are insanely, insanely hydrating. It says that these are for all curl types. However, I do personally believe that these would be best for curly and super curly hair. I think it can be very tricky when you say that a product is for all curl types. I understand why brands do it and I'm not saying that they're wrong or that they shouldn't. However, how realistically can a product be for 2A to 4C? that's very tricky to have one product meet both of those very different needs. Um, these products I absolutely love. My only thing is that I will not be able to use them on a daily basis. This won't be my daily shampoo and this will not be my daily conditioner, but I will use these on days after I get my hair bleached and my hair is like fried. I will use these um, in the winter, specifically when I need more moisture and nourishing ingredients in my hair care. However, if I were to use these products here in the summer in Atlanta, Georgia, girl, I would have some greasy hair. So yes, I love these products. Just they won't be able to be a daily shampoo and conditioner for me. Um, these will be products that I use when it's appropriate, if that makes sense. So absolutely love them. They are 100% hits for me, but they can't be hits for me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, folks, that is everything. Woo, girl, I am seriously sweating. Like, I'm making videos about parts that I don't like, as I mentioned previously, just genuinely makes me nervous. And a brand sends me a product and I don't like it, it's, I just don't wanna say anything at all because I don't like being negative, but I do understand that it's a part of my job that I need to um, be vocal about what doesn't work for me, simply explain why, and move forward. Doesn't mean I hate the brand, doesn't mean the product won't work for you. I just need to explain why it didn't work for me and I'm, I'm, I'm understanding that more and more. So yeah, if you are supportive of that and you enjoy this video, once again, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, check out my Instagram, and um, yeah, I love y'all, I really do. <laughs> I'm in such a good mood today. I just wanna hug y'all. Okay, I'm being weird, I love you, bye.